Hi, Jenny here. Just thought I would make a video on what I eat in a day. I'm only two weeks out of my ileostomy surgery and so the diet is restricted because they don't want you getting a blockage. Um, your small intestine is kind of relearning how to work a little bit, getting used to um, the food being Put in and that it does its own little processing and puts it out that it doesn't end up going through um, the large intestine anymore so as the body keeps going it can keep um, taking in different foods so by the end of six weeks you're supposed to be able to kind of be back to a normal diet of what you were before pretty much um, not completely sure <laughs> about salads and whatever I loved eating salads before I think I got into finally kind of having, you know, nuts and seeds, dried fruit is more of a snack than other things, and those are some of the things that may or may not be able to be kind of brought back in. Um, one of the things, because you don't have the large colon, um, that is where a lot of the water would be reabsorbed into your body, and so with the small intestines, sometimes your output is a little bit more liquidy. Um, that's something to pay attention to just because you don't want to get dehydrated. So, um, making sure that you drink a lot of fluids and sometimes even getting the electrolytes um, back in. So for me, that's what I try to get two of these down a day, plus usually I have a something else. Um, old me in reality would drink like one of these. <laughs> I'm not much of a fluid intake person. I I can't drink a lot, it would make me feel bloated and like I need to throw up. Uh, right now things are going okay, so I usually get about two of those down. Um, another something to help thicken up the output now that too, I have Metamucil. So sometimes in the morning I will put a teaspoon of this into a cup of orange juice and drink that all down. So we get the fluids and a little something extra to help. And also because I'm on some little restricted diet, I can eat some like chicken and turkey and I eat fish. I don't eat fish. I'll have to ask about tuna. I did see somebody that was eating tuna. Um, cheese. <laughs> um, so I don't get a lot of protein in right now. I, I tried some chicken last week and it gave me a stomach ache. And I talked to my dietitian this past Friday and she said we'll give it a couple days and try again. Try a couple bites, see how it goes. And if you're doing okay with it, you can have, you know, a couple more bites and, and try it that way. Again, slowly reintroducing some foods. So I did have chicken again a couple days ago and um, it was fine. I didn't have a stomach ache, so yay. Otherwise, <laughs> and sure, I know you think this, this is the hospital drink and ooh, uh, um, I've had some before that I haven't really liked. They come in different flavors. Didn't realize that either. There's the milk chocolate, there's strawberry. Um, and this is a dark chocolate my husband picked up for me. This one I really like. This tastes really good to me. So, um, this has a lot of protein and it also has some potassium in there. Uh, I was low on potassium I know, in the hospital and they gave me some pills to take which I had to cut in half and all that huge honking pills. Um, so trying to make sure that I guess I try to get that more in my foods so I don't have to go on like a vitamin supplement. In any case, um, pretty boring diet here in the beginning. <laughs> uh, a lot of carbs, which again, I think I mentioned before, I just find that kind of funny. Um, eating, you know, the white breads, you can't really have whole grains right now. I can't have raw fruits, except for bananas, canned pears, and canned peaches. Otherwise, the fruit, I guess, has too much fiber, again, to try to make sure that it all passes through right away. So no strawberries, blackberries, raspberries for now. Um, again, two weeks. I feel like I've been out of surgery for a long time and I can eat normal, but then again, I'm like, I've got some time to go. <laughs> so breakfast has been pretty much like scrambled eggs and toast, maybe a banana. Um, if I don't have like the scrambled eggs in my protein, if I'll have some cereal, or if I just have toast, then I usually try to make sure at least I get an insurin. Usually I drink an insurin at some point in the day anyways. Uh, lunch has been a lot of peanut butter sandwiches, <laughs> and um, I can have some canned soups. So again, that makes all the vegetables and everything all mushy. 
So I had chicken noodle soup the other day, um, crackers, a lot of saltines, Ritz crackers, graham crackers. Um, I can have rice, so I did just have Wayne buy me a couple Uncle Ben's rice packets. So have that. Um, potatoes, potatoes are high in potassium. Well, obviously bananas are, but um, so I've been eating a lot of potatoes. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, no skins. Um, a daughter made some hash browns last night. They were fantastic. I think I had hash browns in the beginning too. So um, potatoes almost every other day. Macaroni and cheese, I had that. That went down well. Like I mentioned before, I had some Olive Garden um, fettuccine Alfredo, and that went down really well. Broccoli, can't really have it right yet, um, even if it's cooked. I've heard that it can give people problems, so I'm going to wait on that till I'm a little further along. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, like fruits with skins, and apples. I can have cooked apples or applesauce, um, but not raw apples. What else? Can't really have oatmeal just yet. So when you get a little bit higher fiber, it, you can have oatmeal again. Um, I have my cute little my little chart here from from the hospital. So it says like foods that may cause diarrhea. So kind of there too. If you have really thick stool, again, you can eat some of these foods to loosen it up a little bit. Um, chocolate, fruit juice, um, milk, peaches, so again canned peaches. Oh, I suppose some things that help thicken up the stool, applesauce, bananas, marshmallows, pasta, peanut butter, saltines, yogurt. They also mentioned about as far as eating, like you should eat some food and then 30 minutes later have some liquid. And then when you have your lunch or whatever, 30 minutes later, have some liquid. So again, the food isn't just kind of all processing right through and going out you. That the food has some time to absorb into the small intestine. And then you're getting your liquids in to help keep you hydrated. Um, some other things, obviously, with electrolytes and stuff, you can have some Gatorade or Pedialyte. Because Pedialyte is better. Gatorade supposedly doesn't have enough salt on it. If you do Gatorade, you're supposed to have like two cups of Gatorade, add two cups of water, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So that salt kind of helps add extra stuff in there. And that's about, about it. As far as eating, not eating. Like I said, it's been just kind of interesting of eating, eating a lot of the more processed type foods on all that, but to get me along for right now. <laughs>
So then here you have breakfast. So I got my scrambled eggs, um, put a little basil in it this time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Toast, sometimes, usually with butter. Really I've been putting some cinnamon on there, give it a little extra taste. Plus these days, <laughs> It's kind of like I'll take all the calories I can get, so putting extra stuff on, extra stuff. And then usually I would have some um, like strawberries, blueberries, um, blackberries, but right now I can't eat raw fruit. It's got too much fiber in there, um, except for a couple things like bananas. Bananas also help thicken up the stool, so depending on where I'm at when I'm emptying, if it's too loose or too thick, then I have to kind of look at my list or whatever, figure out what either to thicken it up or to thin it out. So today a banana it is. <laughs> I can also eat canned pears and canned peaches so without the skin. So this is breakfast for today. See you at lunchtime. <laughs> so for lunch today I'm going to go with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some canned peaches and I'll have my insure. Not quite dinner time yet, but I'm hungry and I forgot that I don't really have snacks in the house. <laughs> Wayne's going to go shopping tonight, pick up a couple more things for us. But I'm going to have, I'm going to try some of the rice. Um, so Ben's original, this is just roasted chicken. Got some carrots in there, so that's fine for me to eat. So mush this up and you tear a little hole and, and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So we'll have that along with um, my leftover chicken tender and some cooked green beans from the can that is also leftover. We haven't eaten a lot of rice this way. You guys eat this? Normally I just make regular white rice in the pan. <laughs> Have that with whatever I'm eating. But this is fast, then I can have it and have some flavor. So a minute and a half, right? 90 seconds. Snack time. Gonna have some pretzel sticks. And another snack. We only have a couple left. Hash browns made by my daughter. Yummy snack at 8 p.m. Plus, hubby picked up a couple more vitamin waters for me, so we're going to go with the power seed today.